football is the home of Super Bowl 57. And this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Bengals and the reigning Super Bowl champs. And it comes your way next. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy as it'll be the AFC champion Cincinnati Bengals taking on the champions from the NFC, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The hype and the talk is over. We're set for the big one. Super Bowl 57, away we go from Arizona. fake to mix it and now look to throw and he can't find a receiver and he's brought down Shaquille Barrett it'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him well behind the sticks here with a second and 18 The former second-round pick, this is Joe Mixon. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. The crowd getting in it a bit already. Here's an early third and 10. Now it's Burrow. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. And he'll be out of bounds near the 30. In fact, right on the 30. A good work bringing that one back as he picks up about 16 on the return. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Brady and the Bucs now with a first and 10 right at the 30. First carry now for Keyshawn Vaughn. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. You look at this Super Bowl, the second appearance for this head coach. The first one did not go as planned, as we all know, but what do you think he's learned from that first go around? He learned how much it hurts to lose, and that's what you hear from coaches so often. They don't remember the wins as much as they remember the losses. You can talk about the media, the scrutiny, the hoopla, but once you've had to shake a head coach's hand, and jog off the field and know you have to face the media, face your fans, face your home life, knowing that you've lost the Super Bowl, that hurts big time, and you're going to do everything possible to try and prevent that from happening again. stick with it on first down and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage officially it's a one yard loss that's going to bring up second and 11. Brady to throw. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. 
Looks like a nickel set here defensively on third and two. Yeah, maybe expecting a throw. From midfield, here's Brady. Over the middle, complete. That's Evans. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Nice job keeping that opening drive alive. And they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down, they did. Big time pickup for them. And now, I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone. Because the closer you get to the end zone, the field can, gets condensed. It makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. You still got a chance to actually run past people right now. Take your shot at the end zone early in the down and distance count. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Partner, one thing I was lousy at growing up, track and field. I could never anticipate the start before a race, but how about that backer? He figured it out, jumped the count, and turned it into a really nice play for his defense. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. Eight yards there on the carry, and now they're left with a much more manageable third and three. Working from the gun, it's Brady. Oh, they would have gotten a conversion if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. So Brady departs, and on it's Ryan Suckup for the Buccaneer field goal. It'll come from the right hash. It's a 47-yard attempt. Three points, probably not going to win this Super Bowl, but at least you get something on the opening drop. And it's certainly not going to lose it. So the bottom line is, come away with the points now, come back and get greedy later, and try and put it in the end zone. The Bengals drive about to get going. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion, and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. So it certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. At the 46 yard line. Second and five. Burrow gonna give this to Mixon. And no room to maneuver there. Give him a yard up to the 47. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. third down. Oh, not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. The one with the dive look that time on defense just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And yeah, this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. 
When Mike Evans sees man coverage, I don't think he's the only guy who gets excited. I guarantee the guy throwing the ball does because guess what? He's got a lot of options about where to place it because of Mike Evans' size and frame. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Now Brady. Looking downfield for Godwin. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Chris Godwin, 63 yards. And the Bucs get the quick strike touchdown. Extra point put through by Sucker. And the lead grows to 10 0. So an early 10-0 lead for him now as they kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Bengals drive about to get going. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Burrow will throw. Throw right side, taken in by Gallup. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. Ten-nothing the score after one on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Mixon with a first down carry. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Back to Mixon on second down. And getting this chest shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. And they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them. Providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and ten. Now whistles and a flag, and I believe a Bengal got going a little early there. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. Off the play fake, here's Burrow. He's going to wind up and air it out. That's to Chase, he's got it. Touchdown Cincinnati. If there was one knock on Joe Burrow coming out of LSU, you know, it was arm strength that kind of put those doubts to rest right there. And as that ball was hanging in the air with the receiver streaking downfield to meet it, here in the stadium, you could just sense the crowd thinking, oh, no. And the worst fears would have realized is that would turn into a long touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And no return on this one as a fair catch. A single four and take it. The Bucs offense set to begin their next possession. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Hey, 
Brady now to throw. That's taken in by the tight end, Perkins. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the short catch and flip the down marker back to one. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Brady. And that is incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. On second and 10, Brady. A quick throw, but incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. From the gun, it's Brady. He's going to let this one go deep. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. So one first down on that drive, and that's it. Forced to take the deep shot on third down and couldn't hit it. Now they have to punt this one away. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down close to the goal line at the one-yard line. Amazing. Perfectly placed. If that ball goes one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard, the starting point is the 20. So there is a reason that a lot of punters are also excellent golfers. They know distance control. You know what else they have? Same groove motion over and over. Once they have that down, it repeats under pressure. Burrow from his own end zone. This goes out wide for Nixon. And he gets it up to the 10-yard line here. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll make it second and short. Here's a give to Mixon. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Burrow bats it forward. It's a jet sweep. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. It's a gain of 13, and the Bengals have a first down. Boy, an effective play there, getting their wideouts involved in the run game. And what they're always hoping on that type of a play, that they can get to the end of the line and have a chance to turn it upfield as he did there. That means they controlled the blocking and took care of the defensive end of the outside linebacker to give him that lane. And I guess I need to clarify, I said getting their wideouts involved in the run game, but of course that was actually a pass as he popped it forward. 44 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this a little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Burrow on play action. He's got his man. It's Gallup. And they're able to get this way down there inside the Tampa 20. A big play there for Cincinnati. It's not often that you'll find offensive and defensive guys that will agree on much, but one place they find common ground 
You've got to protect or attack the middle of the field. And no one was there. What a big play, moving it downfield. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop it right around the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. And 12 at the 17 yard line. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. Looking left side, he's got it complete. And he's brought down. Boy, this is a well-orchestrated drive they've put together. You think back to how far they were backed up to start things out? And they've gone on a march since then. And now after that completion there, they've got a first and goal. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. Keep it on the sneak. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bengals. The sneak successful for the yard out. And the Bengals have taken the lead. Extra point by McPherson. Up and good. And the lead is now 14 to 10. The kickoff unit is out on the field. And they will send this one away. down Brady this one complete to Scott Miller and yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30 ran the perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off okay so they gave up the completion but I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync stayed in great communication and as he dragged across each zone you see him pointing communicating there he is and they passed him off to each defender Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time you wait for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. From the 44, Brady over the middle to Evans. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Throwing now is Brady. There's Evans again, complete. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. As they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. On first down, it's Hardy. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Another 13 yards there twice in a row, and they're on the move. Another first down as well. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. 
from the left hash, a chip shot here. So we've reached halftime here in the Super Bowl. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Both teams with some extra time to prepare during this long halftime break, but we're about ready to restart the second half of Super Bowl 57. So let's get back out to Arizona and Brandon God. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And they trail here in the Super Bowl, but fortunately for them, Charles, very much still within striking range. Yeah, things didn't go exactly the way they planned in the first half. To me, they appeared to be a little bit tight, made a few errors they normally wouldn't. But, of course, this is the Super Bowl, so things get a little bit heightened in that regard. But I think they have to feel a little fortunate. They're only down what they are here starting the third quarter. Brady going to fake the give to Jones and set up the throw. That's caught by the big tight end, O.J. Howard. And he's going to be down at the 35, gain of seven. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. A nickel look now for the Bengals as they try to stop him here on third down. side handoff and he is going to have a box first down at least at first glance as he'll spot the football just beyond the marker they find a way to convert on third and inches so from the 36 now first and 10 shotgun now for Brady Throw left side complete. That's Perkins. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. First and 10 at the 40. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 42-yard line. to throw it's Brady he finds his target it's Evans and yeah, he'll work free from one tackle but that's about all as he's taken down five yards on the catch there brings up second down The jet sweep, this is Godwin. And he's gonna get this inside the 30. An excellent run there coming from out wide. And we used to consider these jet sweeps to be gadget plays or something a little bit unusual, right? But now most teams have some version of this play in their playbook. And I think it's a lot because of the receivers that are being developed nowadays. These guys look like running backs, even though they're playing out on the perimeter. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. On play action, now Brady. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Brings up third and seven. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Brady going to throw. And he's got a man. It's the tight end, Howard, complete. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They'll try the left side. Hardy. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Brady gives this one to Vaughn. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Well, Deuce is wild here. Second down and two with just about two minutes on the clock. Vaughn. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Keyshawn Vaughn taking it in from two yards out. And the Bucs have regained the lead in the second half of this Super Bowl. Extra point up and good by Sucka. And that'll make this a six-point game. Now it's Ryan Sucka on after the touchdown to kick it away. drive about to get going and they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half i think the guys right now as they go out on offense they're zeroing in on one big key they don't have to do anything differently just because they're down on the scoreboard now the intent still the same in what they plan to do on offense 56 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries first and ten at the 39 yard line so from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Joe Mixon. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Meanwhile, Burrow's throw here into the hands of Boyd. And all the way down to the 22-yard line. A big play there for Cincinnati. The timing was absolutely true as he caught it working across the field. Plenty of space for him to roam, but notice how he keeps his head on a swivel, looking for defenders who may crop up out of nowhere. That turned into a big play. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. handoff to Mixon and not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run he gets maybe three one quarter remains here in the Super Bowl you're watching the NFL on EA Sports Coming up on second and seven. Now it's Burrow. Dumps it off to Mixon. They'll give him four yards there. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. I know it was a game, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, 
I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. On third down, Mixon. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Only a yard on the pick up there, and it's going to leave them with a fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no game. If they're going to have a shot in this Super Bowl, they're going to need this one on fourth down. Here we go. It's Burrow on fourth down. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And the Bengals are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You stop to get it done, as you noted, and they did. They'll give it to Mixon. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. Here's Burrow. That is incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. Third and goal, a big play in this Super Bowl. Burrow looking to pass. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Quarterbacking 101. Never force the ball into double coverage, especially not this close to the goal line. The windows are so tight, you just don't want to force it in there because it could be tipped up and picked off. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. McPherson's kick is good. And that cuts the lead down to just three, 20 to 17. Well, he was a spectator for much of this game. This is his first field goal opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Yeah, he had a pretty good seat to this one, didn't he? But let's face it, all kickers that you and I know, they want to contribute. They want their opportunity, and he seized his. The Bucs offense set to begin their next possession. And the tension ratcheting up all around. A one-score game, fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. This is what you folks came for. Every play with the potential to win or lose a title as they look to drain some time off this clock. On first and ten, here's Brady. This is caught by Evans. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. Ball on first and two. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. And across midfield he goes and into Bengal territory. 
It's a seven-yard pickup. They'll be looking now to third and six. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And he is going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. He finds his tight end, Howard. That's complete. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. They'll run on first down. Vaughn. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. How about the job there on the outside? Shed the wide receiver and was able to make the tackle on the perimeter. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. Brady now to throw. And it's caught. And he's picked in after a very nice game. These guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. How about this? They'll try the option. Left side. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Tom Brady. Excellent work there to get in on the touchdown run. And the Buccaneers are starting to pull away in the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. Extra point put through by Suckup. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now it's Ryan Suckup on after the touchdown to kick it away. Bengals drive about to get going. And we're at the time of this Super Bowl where, look, they need points. And they need them badly. Trailing here in the fourth quarter as they begin this drive first and ten. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. Going up top. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. This goes out wide for Mixon. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. Fourth down. Here's Joe Burrow. And they will get him down, but not before he gets very good yardage there. As that will lead us right into the two-minute warning. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. 
Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Here's Burrow. He's got his man. It's Gallup. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucs 12-yard line. Throwing Burrow to mix it on the check down. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. A gain of eight there on the play. And that'll make this a second down. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. Now whistles and a flag. And I believe a Bengal got going a little early there. false start they need eight yards here on third down Burrow. and this is intercepted and that should do it Carlton Davis picks it and the Bucks will take over here at their own 12 yard line well obviously Charles this stage of the game down two scores they had to put the football in the air unfortunately it gets picked off and the criticism comes easily in situations like this, but you just laid it out. Look where they are on the scoreboard. Look at where the clock is in the game. He has to take a chance here and try and get the ball downfield to his receivers. Unfortunately, it was picked off. Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use him here as the kneel down comes. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. Second and 11 now. And again this time to the tailback. And strong running there gets this up over the 15-yard line. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. On third down, it's Vaughn. And he'll lose yardage here. Back to the 15. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. And the punt team on now as this one sent away. And taken right on the 30. And he goes out right around the 39. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And control of the football, switching hands here with very little time remaining in this contest. The Bengals drive about to get going. He's going to let it fly. But oh, he almost had his second pick of the game. Probably should have. And he's frustrated as it falls incomplete. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some Dutch. Yeah, especially maybe want to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have won the Super Bowl, and they will hoist the Lombardi Trophy to cap an amazing season. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way. 
didn't have to face some adversity in the journey. And now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all off season, they'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it.